This video will explain how to automatically calculate a distance reach settings using the Protection Coordination Assistant. In order to successfully follow these instructions, please make sure that the study case protection is first activated. The network we are dealing with has a system voltage of 400 kV and every line is protected by two distance protection devices. In order to see the relay locations, go to the coloring mode and choose the option Secondary Equipment, Relays. The devices are already configured and the zone reach settings are calculated according to the cumulative method. In order to execute the coordination assistant, the protection devices for which the reach settings should be determined, must already be modeled. The coordination assistant tool is found in the protection and arc flash analysis toolbox. First we can choose the area where the settings are to be calculated. For this example we choose the northeastern zone. On the distance protection page, the user has the option to input flexible equations to define how the reach settings are to be calculated. Predefined variables and basic mathematical operations can be used. Voltage dependent fault resistances for phase earth settings can be specified here. A factor defines the resistance variable for phase to phase settings. The option to aggregate parallel lines is selected. In the following tabs, the equations for four zones can be defined. Equations for zone 1 are straightforward and take 85% of the shortest line to determine the settings. In addition, the fault resistance variable is added to the resistive reach. Possible input variables can be accessed here, next to the equation field. As shown in the equations for zone 2, the operator, max, can be used to enhance the flexibility. In this case, either the longest first line plus 50% of the following shortest line is used, or 120% of the longest first line. If the equation is longer than the input field, a separate editor window can be opened. Different equations for parallel lines in zone 1 are not considered in this example. Time delays are determined for zone and backup timers. The coordination assistant has the possibility to grade the timers depending on overcurrent protection devices. In this case, no grading is selected. After executing the assistant, a table report detailing the calculated settings is shown. In the first three columns, the device, stages and directions of the implemented relay are shown, followed by the reach and timer settings. You can see that the time settings clearly follow the rules set in the assistant. The zone settings are calculated for three main zones and an overreach zone. The report has different filter options, and the possibility to mark in graphic the elements chosen to determine the reach settings. Let us filter according to substations and polygonal characteristic, and mark the traversed elements for the zone 2 reactants of the first relay. As you can see, the zone 2 settings were determined using the first line, and the shortest of the adjacent lines. To evaluate the calculated settings graphically we can create a time distance diagram of a defined path. In this example there is already a simple path defined which you can see by changing the diagram coloring to groupings, paths. This path includes four devices for which we calculated the reach settings. Access the Protection Coordination Report tool from the toolbox, and activate the second option. Path Coordination is selected, then the command executed. The Time Distance diagram shows the coordination results. Every line is protected by zone 1 to 85% of their length and the second and third zones are selective. By double-clicking on a zone you see the results belonging to the associated relay. 
Of course once network effects such as in feeds are taken into account the actual reach of the relay could look different. Let us calculate a three phase short circuit along this path. Double click on the diagram and change the method to short circuit sweep. The short circuit command is already set to IEC method and three phase fault so we can simply execute the command. The diagram changes due to the additional effects taken into account by the short circuit calculation. The reaches of zone 2 and 3 decrease due to an intermediate in feed and the starter times are displayed. If the zone reaches calculated by the coordination assistant are satisfactory, the user can write the results automatically into the protection devices using the report. It is possible to transfer the settings to all devices, to individual devices or to individual zones. It is recommended to record the new settings in an active variation, thereby facilitating reversion back to the original settings if necessary.